Hey, this is Captain Empathy again, and I'm going to continue my Subtractor Synthesizer tutorial. In the last uh, video, I forgot to cover the resonance of the filter. The resonance is basically a frequency boost here. So if you have your frequency high, it's going to boost some of the high frequencies, or if you have your frequency low, it'll boost some of the low frequencies. Uh, the height of the resonance slider here controls how much it boosts the frequency. So if you have it really high, you'll get a really loud sound. So I'll just show you what this sounds like. Definitely a lot different of a sound. So that was actually a pretty important thing to miss, but I'm glad I covered it now. And with that in mind, I'm going to now show you how to use the filter envelope, noise, and low frequency oscillator. Filter envelope is the exact same thing as the amp envelope, except instead of controlling the level, it controls the filter frequency. Pretty easy to understand. Um, it has the same ADSR slider as the amp envelope, and then it has two extras. It has the amp, uh, actually, sorry, the amount knob, and then it also has the filter envelope inversion. So to understand this, basically the amount is anywhere between 0 and 127. If it's at 127, it's fully changing the frequency here. So if you have, let's just say this decay here, it's just going to have the frequency start high and then gradually decrease down to the 66 frequency. And then all you really need to know about the inversion is that instead of, re uh, instead of increasing the frequency, it's going to lower it. So this is what it'll sound like. It's almost like an attack, but it's a little bit different. Here how it lowers and comes up. Um, if you had it as an attack, it might be it might sound a little bit different. See, it's a little bit sharper. Um, I can't exactly explain why that is, but it shouldn't be too distressing. So, um, with that in mind, I'm going to go on to noise here, and I'm going to turn the level down a little bit. Um, the noise is part of the second sound producer here. It's this. It's not part of the second oscillator, it's just in the second part of the mix. So if you have your mix all the way to the right, all you're going to hear is the second oscillator and the noise. And the noise is pretty simple, it's just three knobs, decay, color, and level. Um, so I'll go over these one by one. Here's what the noise sounds like. And it does have a use, so your decay is just how fast it decays. And then you'll get a hang of that. Here it sounds like a click. And then you have your color, which is it. kind of hard to explain this, but basically this sounds like TV static here. And then if you go down, it sounds like a storm. Not exactly, but it's high frequencies here, low frequencies here. Then next up you have level. Level is just how loud it is. Pretty simple. And then onward to the low frequency oscillator. Low frequency oscillator is exactly what it sounds like. It's a low frequency oscillator that changes the parameters of the subtractor. You have six parameters you can change here, including the pitch of oscillators one and two, or just oscillator two. You can change the frequency, uh, the FM, I'll go over this in a later lesson, or uh, the phase, that too and the mix. The mix is just this one. Um, so you should be able to get a hang of that pretty easily. One thing I like to use about the LFO is the sync button. And the sync rate and amount are pretty easy to go over. The rate is just how fast it oscillates. Um, so if you have it at like 56, it's going to go slower than it would if you had it at 117. Um, if you have it on sync, you can actually see how many beats it takes for it to oscillate. So if you have it, let's say, on a square wave, 4-4, four, four, it's a square wave, so it's going to have two up and two beats down. So let's just see what this sounds like. And that's basically what it does. So um, if you know what all these parameters do, you can kind of figure it out. And you can see a visual representation of how it's going to work here. So that's pretty simple to get. And I am out of time here, so I will see you guys tomorrow.